Gibson Ben Bigger Hawkins Sensen and Cleese and Rick Mobit to Remedy Patrice at Fluids for a few side piano. Alleluia, Christ is risen. <clears throat> Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Glory be to God on high.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abideth with his church on earth, even unto the end of the ages. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, and the Holy Ghost, one God, in glory everlasting. Thanks be to God. Sitting corte tuit in labis tui sit princiandum sanctum verbum dei per dominum nostrum is in Christum amen. Thank you. 
Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple blessing God. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake through the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of our sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the Church and for the world. Hear our prayer. 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 Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that like as we do believe thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we may also in heart and mind thither ascend, and with him continually dwell, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, 
we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you unto everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Bipso benedictor, Abeo sit benedictus de quis latre exhibit sanguis et aqua in omni patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Such be sancta trinitas, sancta blatsionum, quamigo indicus peccato ferro in honore tuo, beati maria et omnium sanctorum tuum, per peccati sed et omnibus meis et per saluti vivorum, et requie omnium fidelium defunctum, in omni patris et filii et spiritus sancti, except on sit. Nipotenti de hoc sacrificium nobum. Bipso benedictor hoc incensum in quis in recum of eternum in patris et filius spiritus sancti amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Secret Erat in Principio et Nunc et Semper et in Secula Seculorum. Amen. Derogator ad Te Domine Eratio Mea, Secret in Sensum in Conspicu Duo. Amen. 
in spiritu humilitatis et animo contrito suspicium et omniate, et sic fiat sacrificium nostrum in conspicuo te te suspicium a hodio placebo tibi dominus deus meus et mani patri et fili et spiritu sancti. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable unto the Lord our God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, through thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who after his glorious resurrection manifestly appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us, that where he is, there we might also be, and reign with him in glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying,
All glory be to thee, almighty God, our heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there of his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that, his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify. By thy word and Holy Spirit, these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, that we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee. O Father Almighty, world without end. And now, as our Saviour Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
da propitious pacem in diebus nostri suto pe misericordia tua juti, et a peccato simus semper liberi, et ab omni perdebatio de succori periendum Christum dominum nostrum filium tuum. Qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti deus per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Sacrosancta commixto corporis et sanguis Domini nostri Jesu Christi, fiat mihi omnibus quae cementa basalius mentis et corporis, et ad vitam eternum promorandum et capacandum preparatio salientaris periendum Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ shed for thee.
Please be seated. You are. A warm welcome to each and every one of you to St. Ignatius of Antioch on this Ascension Day. It's lovely to have you all here. Um, I have to tell you that this is a milestone, albeit it's a modest one. This is the first Mass at which we have the same attendance as we did pre-pandemic for the same service. So there you go. We have the same number of people coming to Ascension Day as we have the last three years. Well, before the pandemic. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing indeed. And in fact, this, um, this, this afternoon, many of you will have seen the news that the CDC has issued new guidance about masks and distancing for folks who are vaccinated. We need to digest that information uh, before we're going to do anything about it. So this coming Sunday, as tonight, we will still ask people to sign up to come to Mass. We will take your information. We will ask everyone to uh, wear masks and to be socially distanced. Um, I will write to you next week sometime as we discern uh, what, how, how we're going to respond to that, because we, we want to be cautious. We want to, uh, we want to make sure that we're inclusive. But remember, uh, not quite half of all New Yorkers have been vaccinated. Although I know personally know that many of you are already vaccinated, and I'm I'm thrilled about that. But um, but but we have to see how this is going to work for us. Uh, we are gradually opening. Those of you uh, watching at home don't know that the camera has been moved up about six feet, opening up three more pews. Uh, you know we're coming along. So uh, be patient with us. It's all about keeping us as a community safe and healthy. Thank you so much, Pam, for your sermon. I was thrilled to learn from Deacon Paul that you'll be uh, staying with us next year. I am so excited about that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put you to work, and we're gonna, and come September, hopefully, we'll have a cast of thousands up here uh, doing mass. Well, maybe not a cast of thousands, but a uh, maybe. Well, probably won't even be tens. But anyway, it'll be, a, it'll be more of a team effort, a true team effort, and I'm, I'm thrilled, Pam not just for the extra altar server. I'm thrilled for our community that you are going to be sticking with us as part of, of, part of your formation. And as you learn from us, we're going to continue to learn from you. And I'm thrilled about that. Thank you, Rick, for organizing this wonderful music tonight. Thank you guys for playing so beautifully. I know that uh, perhaps uh, of this, the best is yet to come. The, the postlude's going to be absolutely gorgeous. But thank you guys for doing this. This is a, a, little, a, little, a little sign, a little, um, a little example of how uh, the, parish, uh, the parish's relationship with musicians who perform in our space, who rehearse in our space, who find our church hospitable for them, are able to share their music with us as a community. And I'm super grateful to you guys for being here tonight, and thank you, Rick, for organizing this. I'll look forward to greeting those of you who are here on the steps in just a moment. May Almighty God, who hath redeemed us and made us his children through the resurrection of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of his blessing. May God, who through the water of baptism hath raised us from sin to newness of life, make ye holy and worthy to be united with Christ forever. May God, who hath brought us out of bondage to sin into true and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal inheritance. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you this night and remain amongst you always. The Lord be with you. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia.